Bible verse is about turning the other cheek. Scripture repeatedly tells us we are always to overlook an offense, be an imitator of Christ. When he was slapped, did he slap back? No. And in the same way, if someone insults or slap us, we turn away from that person. Violence and violence equals more violence. Instead of a fist or an insult, let's repay our enemies with prayer. Never try to take the role of the Lord, but let him, let him avenge you. Quote, Show people who don't even deserve it, not as a reflection of their character, but as a reflection of yours. You can't change how people treat you or what they say about you. All you can do is change how you react to it. Sometimes it's better to react with no reaction. What does the Bible say? Matthew 5, 8, 5, 38, 39. You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth, but I tell you not to reconsider. Resist an evildoer. On the contrary, however, slaps you on the right cheek. Turn the other to him as well. Proverbs 20, 22 says, not though I will recompensate evil, but wait on the Lord, and he will save thee. 1 Thessalonians 5.15 Make sure that nobody pays back wrong for wrong, but always strive to do what is good for each other and everyone else. 1 Peter 3-8-10 to to Finally, be all of one mind, having compassion for one another, love as a brethren, be pitiful, be courteous, not rendering evil for evil or railing for railing, but contrise blessing knowing that you are there unto called, that ye should inherit a blessing, for that he will love life and see good days. Let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no gulli. Romans 12:17. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. Romans 12:19. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. Luke 6.27 But I say to you who are listening, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you. Luke 6.35 Instead, love your enemies, do good to them and, and lend to them, expecting nothing in return, then your reward be great, and you will be children of the Most High, because he is kind even to the ungrateful and evil people. Matthew 5.44 But I say unto you, love your enemies, blessed that the curse you. Do good to them and that hate you and pray for them which dis despitefully use you and prosecute you persecute you reminder matthew 5 9 blessed are the pe peacemakers for they will be called children of the god god luke 6 28 blessed those who curse you pray for those who mistreat you romans 12 14 bless them which persecute you bless and curse not 1 corinthians 4 12 we labor working with our hands which we are revived we bless when we are persecuted we endure it even feed your enemies romans 12 20 therefore if thy enemy enemy hunger feed him if he thirsts give him drink for in so doing thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head proverbs 25 21 if thy enemy be hungry give him bread to eat and if he is thirsty give him water to drink John 8, in 22, 23, when Jesus said this, one of the priests nearby slapped him in the face. Is this your way to the end of the high priest, he demanded. If I said something wrong, Jesus replied, testify as to what is wrong. But if I spoke the truth, why did you strike, strike me? Matthew 26, 67, when they spit in his face and struck him with their fist, others slapped him. John 19, 3, and went up to him again and again, saying, How king of the Jews, and slapped him in the face. 2 Chronicles 18, 23, 24. Then Zedekiah, son of Kenaiah, walked up to Micah and slapped him across the face. Since when did the Spirit of the Lord leave me to speak to you, he demanded. And Micah replied, You will find out soon enough when you are trying to hide in some secret room. 1 Samuel 26, 9, 11. But David said to Abishai, Don't destroy him. Who can lay a hand on the Lord's anointed and be guiltless? As surely, says the Lord, lives. He said, the Lord himself will strike him down, or his time will come and he will die, or he will go into battle and perish. But the Lord forbid that I should lay a hand on the Lord's anointed. Now get the spear and water jug that are near his head and let's go. Just a quick one. <laughs> Just ignore those mean-hearted people and pray for them. I pray for them. They don't like it. Raise your vibrations. Much love. Bye now.